And I knew that I could never again raise my voice against the violence of the oppressed in the ghettos without having first spoken clearly to the greatest purveyor of violence in the world today, my own government. For a libation for the dead, let's have a moment of silence before I speak on the greatest purveyors of violence. Time comes when silence is betrayal. Peace to Dr. King, see I know what he meant. The greatest purveyor of violence is still my government. Hundreds of thousands gone, Iraqis, Pakistanis, Somalis, Libyans, and Afghanis. And that's just the countries Obama's attacked in. Blacks and brown kids with the full metal jacket. But I'ma take this time to outline their partners in crime. Line by line, exposing the corporate design. I'ma name names, they all play in the same game. Main aim to keep us all on a chain gang. Purveyors of violence through economic inequity. Modern robber barons and sellers any commodity. Let's start at the top, why not? The big box already in the hood near you is Walmart. They destroy local economies with their cheap shit. Shipped in from China. Make Make sure you wipe off the kids' sweat. Say peace to the small business they eliminate, but don't celebrate. They kill more jobs than they create. I hope you don't really need to get paid. You need three times a salary to make a living wage. And if you're thinking you need, you better stay silent. Cause these are the greatest purveyors of violence. Purveyors of violence. That if we are to get on the right side of the world revolution, So shady, they made their own shadow economy Based on derivatives and hedges Leverage with a magic capital Nothing tangible, just gambling on digital exchanges Disgusting, flagrant, it hurts just to say it Sell you a subprime mortgage Then make bets that you can't pay it Imagine that, they made their own economy collapse What's even worse is after the fact J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs Are practically sitting in the president's lap With a sack from the bailouts Record bonuses, the economy's still tanking And the onus is on us to rebuild it But hey, not me I want the demise of Stanley AIG But if you like getting screwed, go ahead, stay silent But these are the purveyors of violence Purveyors of violence Compassion is more than flinging a coin to a beggar. It comes to see that an edifice which produces beggars needs restructuring. I guess you're wondering who I'm going in on next. Is it the oil companies, banks, telecom, insurance? Maybe it's the media deserves to get running. Believe me, I got venom for the Fortune 500. Some of the worst actors are defense contractors making profit from death, trying to bring on the rapture. Halliburton, Lockheed, Beck, telling Boeing. Too many to name, and the list keeps growing. Knowing all they cause is death and destruction. War, profiteering, political corruption. In Iraq, guarded by exploited troops. While they dying by the thousands, you bringing in the loot. The sad fact is, all these multinationals make contributions to politicians. Not rational, they can't make any decision that's not influenced. Corporate capital and democracy not congruent. So when the war hawks call, they better stay silent. You got blood on your hands. Purveyors of violence. Purveyors of violence. Profit motives and property rights. Purveyors of violence. More important than people. The giant triplets of racism. The greatest purveyors of violence. Materialism and militarism are incapable of being conquered. A true revolution of values will soon cause us to question the fairness and justice of many of our past and present policies.
spend more money on military defense than on programs of social uplift is approaching spiritual death.